surface. Dun, dun, dun. What's up everyone? My name is Sarah Dici, Rhymes with Peachy. If you're new around here, we're at the Microsoft event. John, this is your first tech event it that you've is. done with me. And we have everything that was released behind us. We're gonna, how unprofessional of me. How dare you do with that. With my phone Today being turned days. on. That's actually a text from my uh, uh, Squarespace people. And news. Talk to me. Squarespace is now sponsoring this video. Just now? The thing that I am most excited about is definitely the Surface Laptop 3s. Look at this 15 inch, it's beautiful. I'm telling you the aluminum finish, I'm getting MacBook vibes, but it has a really clean profile. We have USB-A, USB-C, a headphone jack, and also, so right here is where I thought the fast charging Microsoft Power connector was an SD card slot, but it was in fact not an SD card slot. Honestly, that was really embarrassing that I thought that. It was just really dark in that room. No SDs on any of these machines. We have the always on display. Look how fast this loads. Now you MacBook people are like, who cares? But that's, that's a thing. Honestly, really the aluminum finish, the thin design feels so good. I think we've been waiting for the MacBook competitor. The 13.5 inch starts at 999 and the 15 inch starts at $1,199. It's pretty interesting what they did. So on the 13 inch, you have the latest, greatest 10th gen processors, but for the 15 inch, they added a Ryzen 7 processor, which is like, what? Usually it's it's like Intel i7 SKU, right? So let's actually look at what the processors are in these guys. The way you choose the SKU of your new Surface Laptop 3 is kind of interesting. I don't know, it's weird. If you click through all of the different colors, they have different combinations. So you can't get just any color with any combo. So if you go to the Platinum Fabric Finish, that's pretty much the only one that you're gonna see with the 999 SKU for the 13.5 inch. And as you can see, things Things can get pricey pretty quick. So let's go to the black finish. This is where you're gonna get most of the options. I honestly really don't like the way that this is set up, that it's just like blocks instead of having the option for every single thing. Because what's great about these computers is they focused a lot on, hey, you can fix them. If you're buying this for enterprise, you can have your tech IT people come in into the computer, replace parts, and it's fixable, right? So this means you can actually replace the M.2 NVMe me SSD. However, they don't really give you a lot of flexibility with this. When you go into the 15 inch, let's go down here with one terabyte of SSD. Hey, that sounds good. The A11, so the Vega 11 graphics, that's all AMD on the 15 inches, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and then the Ryzen 7 is going to be in the 15 inch. But hey, look, it's one terabyte of SSD. And that is the only SKU that you can get the graphics and the processor and that much RAM. And there's no option to just lower the price to only get 256 gigabytes and replace it with your own uh, SSD, which is like a super simple process. I mean, that stuff, I don't understand because these laptops start to get really, really really expensive. And I do find it strange uh, for the non-tech savvy consumers. Uh, it's going to be kind of confusing with the Intel and AMD. So, I mean, the only thing you got to know is on the 13 inch laptops, you have the option of the Intel i5 and i7 processors, and then you have the Intel Iris Plus graphics. So that's your integrated graphics. For the 15 inch, you have the option of the Ryzen 5 or the Ryzen 7. And then it also has the Iris Plus graphics as your integrated, but now you have the dedicated AMD Vega 9 or Vega 11 graphics. When you start getting into the higher level SKUs, paying $2,800 and not having NVIDIA graphics and having a Ryzen 7, I, I, I'm a little bit skeptical, but I can't wait to actually test these out in content creation mode because dang, if you're gonna be paying that much for a laptop, it better show up. However, this puts it in such a weird, again, weird place in between their Surface Book 2, which is, you know, the highest level of their laptops and then also the MacBook Pro line. It just falls in a weird place because the display is beautiful, but it's not 4K. It is a touch display, which is great, but again, not 4K that we're seeing in a lot of laptops in the $1,000 to $2,000 price range. Do you like them? Aren't they cute? Honestly, this has the cool factor. This is sleek. You could walk into your favorite coffee shop with this and feel cool. On aesthetics alone, I would subscribe. <laughs>
Okay, let's get some black magic footage in here. Max brightness. This is gonna be speakers at 80%. cameras obviously but they're not afraid to say hey here's this entry-level cinema camera that's thirteen hundred dollars that's twenty five hundred dollars last thing I mentioned about this is it has fast charging so it's gonna charge up to 80% in under an hour which is fantastic the service laptop 3 was definitely my favorite thing and I think the most interesting because this will be an easy laptop to recommend to people um, once I get some hands-on time and I actually you know it think if it's a good device but it feels great the bigger trackpad is amazing okay so when i test out um, the surface book that was my biggest complaint i hated the surface book trackpad i need to make sure I, I don't say that too loud the keyboard just feels so good a pretty quiet keyboard so if you're into laptop reviews make sure to stick around hit that subscribe button okay so we need to talk about everything else but i just kind of wanted to drill into the surface laptop 3 um but before we move on squarespace thank you so much for sponsoring this video guys if you didn't know i love squarespace saradici.com is a squarespace and you're gonna get 10 percent off your first purchase of a domain or website if you're new so make sure to go to squarespace.com slash saradici to check it out to get that 10 percent off what is so great about squarespace is they're always adding new things not only do they have just 24 7 customer support via email or chat on their website, no big deal, but they're adding stuff like appointment scheduling. Hey, you entrepreneurial artists, maybe you could throw some workshops, have people sign up through your website, have them go through the payment through the website. It's really a all-in-one platform, a one-stop shop for scheduling appointments, for selling merch, for showing off your portfolio, for clients to have the analytics of knowing who is coming to your website, how many people are coming to your website, and where are they coming from so go to squarespace.com slash saradici if you want to start today okay so let's get into all the other stuff we'll touch on it briefly the surface neo and surface duo the neo is basically a bigger version of the duo the duo is a phone yes it's going to be a collaboration between microsoft and android which is crazy but they made sure that you knew it was a surface device you have all the things that you have in all these devices at your advantage and then the neo is a bigger version of duo it's basically just like a surface pro or an ipad but it's the dual screens it's the foldable movement however i think it's smart to not go for the foldable screen like we've seen in the Samsung Fold where you have the part of the screen in the center fold. They were just like, nah, we're just gonna make two screens, sandwich them together. And if you follow me on Instagram, at EFO with Intel, we saw a lot of these computers. We, we saw some initial prototypes that showed the two screens on top and bottom with the magnetic keyboard. And I thought that this was gonna be so off in the distance, but we saw it today. We saw it announced with the Neo. So I am so excited to get my hands on that, uh, but it doesn't come out until the holiday season of 2020. So we have a year around to wait. This is the Surface Pro 7, a similar form factor that we're used to. It's very slick, very nice, has, has the hinge. We got the keyboard, we got the magnetic pin on the side. If you're an illustrator, or you're doing anything in regards to resting your hand on the screen, this hinge is super, what's the word? Strong. And you know what? This is actually the new Adobe Creative Cloud desktop view, which they rolled out just in time for this Microsoft event. I literally saw a tweet just this morning about it. It looks clean, looks nice. Right next to the Surface Pro 7, we have the Surface Pro X, which is honestly, it's stunning. 2880 by 1920 display. And in here we have Microsoft's new SQ1 chipset. Um, so it's basically Microsoft's own ARM chip. So it's gonna be super powerful and it has redesigned graphics with Qualcomm. Super fast, great battery life. And the pin is tucked away in the keyboard. Are y'all ready for this? Boom. Excuse me? Let's actually see how the speakers are. 
But you're not cause the drinks bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Boring song, Maroon 5, but hey, at least it sounds good, right? So here we go, the first listen with the earbuds. How do they look? They are a little big, um, but they're very light in your ears. That's the first thing that I notice. And you definitely like hear your surroundings. They're similar to the AirPods in that. They have no like noise cancellation or anything. Okay, so, all right, here we go. Turn it all the way up. Oh, that's volume. <laughs> so you swipe down for the volume, you swipe. Oh, but see, already the swiping. So I don't think you'll wanna do swiping gestures because it almost made it like fall out of my ear. Okay, so I'm guessing they might have different sized um, buds to where they fit into your ears better, but I think these are a little bit too big for me, so they were slightly falling out when I was doing the gestures, um, but they're pretty light in the ear. They sound fantastic. Um, that 249 price tag is an interesting one. There's a lot of cool things that come along with the ecosystem, like they demoed being in PowerPoint, having the earbuds in, and Azure basically doing live captioning for what you're saying. So I think it's more you're getting the package of what Microsoft can offer. Only time will tell what that actually means. Microsoft is really pushing the limits of form factor. And so it was epic to see them not only release this new foldable two screen tablet situation, but to say, hey, I'm gonna go one step further and release a phone. This is a Microsoft Android phone. It's based on Android. You have the Google Play Store, you have all those apps. That was mind blowing. Literally this event was Microsoft saying, hey world, we're just gonna go for it. We are a hardware company now, so we're gonna act like one. It's so funny because I feel like the Surface team and the Windows team of Microsoft in the grand scheme of things compared to the entire company is so small. But when I was in there uh, with, you know, all the other tech bloggers and stuff, there was a certain excitement to it. People were stoked to see these new form factors. It makes me excited. I like <laughs> desktop computers, they've arrived. We're not gonna get anything more exciting with that. But this whole weird tablet fusion laptop thing is gonna be very exciting for the next 10 years. And that's why you should subscribe because I make videos on that stuff. Anyways, it was fun. Thanks Microsoft for inviting me out to the event and make sure you subscribe. Let me know if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week. Is it weird that I'm now repeating myself? I think I'm a little tired, so stay peachy. Okay, bye and check out my Squarespace link.